Nestled next to Stone Cone Creamery in the Foothill Plaza is a wonderful small French restaurant called Le Bistro. Influenced by his parents who owned and operated Café Provençal for many years, Frank and his wife, Laura LaMonica, carry on the tradition of serving authentic and delicious French dishes that you will love. This small and quaint restaurant offers a variety of delectable lunch and dinner entrees that you really must experience if you haven't already. Now before we start this review, I want to let you know that I've never been to France and I can't speak French. So for all those people out there who are French or speak French, please don't write me letters. I'm going to try not to butcher your language. Here it goes. Let's start with escargot à la bourguignon. This great appetizer starts with six French farmed helix snails sautéed in a French herb butter with minced garlic, fresh parsley, Dijon mustard, pinch of curry, lemon juice, and pernod. I love this dish. If you've never had snails, don't be afraid. These aren't the same snails that you have on your lawn. These are farmed, raised in France. They're plump, they're tender, and they're so good, especially when you get the bread and you sop up the wonderful butter juices in here. So, so good. And now the earth and sea salad. This salad consists of mixed baby greens with spinach, tomatoes, orange and apple slices, hard boiled eggs, mushrooms, it's topped with a broiled salmon steak, and served with a balsamic vinaigrette. This is a real light salad. It's great for, if, you know, if you're not really hungry, you don't want to stuff yourself with a lot of, you know, French sauces. This is the kind of salad that's good and it's healthy. And now, the soupe à l'eau French onion soup. <laughs> Who am I trying to kid? Now, this is really a classic French soup. It's made with a rich beef broth with sliced caramelized brown onions, wine, garlic, herbs de Provence, cognac, it's topped with a toasted baguette with lots of Swiss cheese. Put in the oven and baked until it's nice and gooey, the cheese and brown. Mm -mm. I feel like French onion soup. This is a great rendition of it. Uh, lots of cheese, and that's what makes it so good, especially when you get the cheese around the pot and, and you kind of just nibble at it, and it's so good. And it's just a real rich soup. And if you like onions, this is the one that you really should try. And now for the cremini mushroom and caramelized onion pizza. This starts with a hand-tossed homemade pizza dough with fresh marinara sauce, sliced crepini mushrooms, caramelized onions, and Swiss cheese, not mozzarella. This is a nice little pizza because, again, it has Swiss cheese, not the usual mozzarella. And what's nice about it is it wasn't real crisp, but the sweetness of the caramelized onions really made this dish special. And to me, cremini mushrooms are one of the most flavorful mushrooms around. Now we have the authentic crepe. This is Jardin et le Don. Or they say in France, jambon, jambon, again, a crepe. This is country cured ham, sauteed pecan smoked bacon, and a really velvety smooth, rich uh, bechamel sauce inside a large savory crepe. And served with delicate sauteed zucchini, yellow squash, and carrots. Now crepe is one of the most popular dishes in France. That's what they're pretty much known for. And this is just wonderful. It's a real light crepe, it's not heavy, it's, it's much, much different than a pancake. And uh, the inside is amazing. It's velvety smooth like I talked about before. It's rich, it's got lots of flavor, and just oh so good. Now we have the bow tie al saffron. This is bow tie and penne pasta with a light creamy saffron sauce with pecan smoked bacon and baby peas. What I liked about this dish was the pasta. It was a Dante perfect, had a nice little bite to it, and it was a real light sauce. A lot of times you think French sauces are real rich, which they can be, but this one is, and this is real light, delicate, has lots of flavors. Here's another classic, Coquille Saint Jacques. This lovely dish consists of shrimp, scallops, mushrooms, onions, and a creamy white wine sauce topped with panko crumbs, Swiss cheese, and it's baked till nice and crisp. It's served with three small potato dumplings called palme dauphines, and a nice vegetable mix. Again, this is a very classic French dish. Every restaurant I've been to, French restaurant I've been to, that has had this is probably the number one seller. And it wouldn't be surprised me if this dish here is their number one seller. It's really, really good. And now for two of their great desserts, the baked Alaska and the Grand Manier souffle. 
The baked Alaska starts off with sponge cake soaked with cognac, vanilla ice cream, more cake on top of that, and then you got the meringue, that's first torch for color, and then flambéed with more cognac. It was almost like the s'mores in a sense of the meringue almost tastes like a burnt marshmallow. I really like that flavor. And you dig deep, and it's got that real cold, hard ice cream, and you got a real thin layer of the cake, sponge cake, with the cognac. Just a really nice dessert, very refreshing. And now the magnificent Grand Marnier Souffle. This takes about 20 to 25 minutes to make, so make sure you order it in advance. This is a delicious, delicate souffle. Now what's really nice is the server punches a little hole in the souffle and serves a really good Grand Marnier liqueur cream sauce. Now if you ever made a souffle at home, you know it's very hard to make, for one thing. Second of all, it always drops real quickly if you don't, if you don't make it right. This is perfectly made. And the nice sauce really added to kind of the crispy burnt part of the souffle. And this is enough for two people. And this with some coffee, what a great ending to a really memorable meal. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back with the wrap up. Mmm, I think I'll have me a snail. My favorite dishes were the escargot with the delicious buttery garlic sauce. Oh, you get the bread, you soak it up there, so good. The French onion soup, mm-mm, lots of cheese. And the ham and bacon crepe. Creamy sauce, delicious. Je suis Alain Borgan, critique gastronomique. Merci d'être venu au bistro et on espère vous voir très prochainement. Merci. See, I don't even have to speak French. I got my own interpreter here, Frank, who's the owner. Frank, how can you guys speak such a funny language? Ah, je sais pas, mon ami. C'est comme ça. Tout le monde a un langage et il est bizarre. Huh? Let's eat. You bet. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna have a little shrimpy here. And then I'll have mm. some pasta. Hmm. Mm. How come you don't weigh 10,000 pounds? I guess French food's healthy. I guess I know when to stop. I don't know. Oh, oh, real good. Thanks. <laughs> cut, cut. How the heck 